Hello everyone, welcome to a new Amplify Occlusion tutorial. Our ambient occlusion solution sets out to offer the best of two worlds. By taking the best out of fast-performing, screen space ambient occlusion, the accurate and flexible results provided by approximate obscurance-based techniques, and combines it into an all-in-one flexible Unity package, robust, lightweight and extremely easy to use. We start by importing the Amplify Occlusion package as you would with any other plugin. Simply add the Amplify Occlusion to your active camera and you are ready to use it. The occlusion effect can be applied using three different methods Post Effect Multiply, Deferred or Debug. The Post Effect Multiply method resembles standard screen space ambient occlusion and applies the effect to all objects regardless of their lighting conditions. The Deferred method preserves bright lit surfaces by injecting screen space ambient occlusion before the direct light stage. The difference is immediately apparent when put side by side. A debug apply method is also available for added scene tweaking and flexibility. The sample count allows you to define the amount of samples used in the occlusion effect. Higher values will provide the best results but are more processing intensive. The default or lower values should suffice for most cases. Per pixel normals are set to camera by default, but you can use G-Buffer and octa-encoded G-Buffer when using the deferred method. Amplify Occlusion is very flexible and easy to use. You can set the effect intensity, the occlusion color tint, the radius of the effect, power exponent and bias. The power exponent allows you to exaggerate the occlusion effect, while the bias value allows for accurate control of what should receive the occlusion effect. You can think of it as a slider that goes from small to large scale detail. The cache aware optimization allows for superior performance and stability under high screen resolutions. The downscale option will calculate the occlusion effect at a lower resolution. It's a great way to improve performance on slower devices. In order to make the effect complete, we must apply some type of blur to it. For Amplify Occlusion, we decided to go with fast-performing bilateral blur. You can toggle the blur effect, set its radius, the number of passes used for the blur effect, keep in mind that higher values produce smoother results but are more performance intensive. You can adjust it further by tweaking the blur depth threshold and blur falloff value. Do note that the depth threshold is directly influenced by the camera near and far clipping plane values. That's all you need to know in order to take advantage of Amplify Occlusion. Our package will continue to be improved with new techniques and optimizations. You won't need to purchase another ambient occlusion solution anytime soon. If you have not already, check out our other products. We offer fully functional trial versions. Try them today.